Hello my lovelies, this is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. In today's video I'll be trying to create a geode looking like coaster. The inspiration comes from geode art, so from Agate Slices and Honestly, I haven't really seen that many coasters created this way, so I thought I will give it a go. So I am mixing up kind of all blues, different shades of blues, and I'll be making circles around and filling up my molds. And the idea is to fill up about one third because later on I'll be adding lines and kind of creating 3D illusion with lines. And I hope it all goes well and I hope I make some funky looking coasters. So I start here with my darkest blue that I have and I'm moving on to my lightest and basically I am working with thick resin so that colors don't really blend in that well and they stay kind of in circles. So here I ran out of my blue and I decided to add some uh, crushed glass and just to place it in the middle and look how it's gonna work for me. But uh, in the end uh, all the glass sunk and basically no obvious results were seen. So it's absolutely not necessary add anything textured at this stage in my point of view. And in the end, I decided to mix a little bit of white and added just kind of lines. We know Agatha has lots of different lines, so I was just trying to create base as well as I could for later adding more lines. Once again, there are no rights and wrongs in creating any art. So do as you feel like it and yeah, just see what you can create. So 
so I pop the bubbles and let them to cure. And this is the next day. Uh, so I decided to do next my golden glitter lines and I have pre-made buttons from my previous uh, unused resin and it was honestly very handy. So now I'm creating little buttons uh, for every leftover resin that I have. And here I pre-mixed varnish and the glitter to make a mix. I find it works really well because um, if you do it with resin you need to think how much resin will you need and after that uh, should leave the resin to rest for a while until it start to thicken up. So you need to wait uh, can be 10 20 minutes it depends but with this mix you mix it and it's ready to go and it works really well so here I'm showing two coasters how I'm creating I just put down these little buttons and decide to make a circle on top of this kind of white circle from the white pigment and after finishing that, I took my postcap marker and created a line uh, closer to the center. And then I let them to dry and... Oh yeah, I felt a little bit adventurous as well, so I took this crushed glass, mixed it with uh, varnish and added to center to create some more agate like looking uh, piece. I thought it would look very great inside uh, around the middle part. So basically for using varnish I like to let it uh, dry overnight so I'm 100% sure that it's absolutely touch dry and will not react with resin. So here I have my white po Posca pen and I'm just making another line. So this is after overnight and I'm applying a really thin layer of resin because I want to carry on drawing my lines so therefore I need to do it as thin as I can.
So yeah, this is my last third uh, uh, layer of making the lines and here I made varnish together with uh, a glitter and I just thought that it will benefit some more bit glitter like line so that's why I decided to do it and also I took uh, another Posca pen because I have set of four which is really handy they are all blue and I decided to go on the outside line as well maybe it wasn't the right choice of pen because it's kind of blending in with the resin but uh, I thought why not go with it I wish though that it was a bit more visible and after this one it dries again overnight uh, I will apply the last layer of resin and fill the mold until the top So this is the next day, the resin has cured and now it's time to demold and see a bit better how they look. So this is the end result and I'm really happy. This is the back side, doesn't matter. And you can see that I feel it like two thirds in the beginning and then another three layers with clear. So usually as resin cures, it does create a little bit of shrinkage. So that's why there is a lip on the edge that is a bit higher. So what I do next is I'll sand them down a bit, I'll paint the edges gold and later on I will give them a top layer, top coat and they they gonna be finished. As I didn't have enough time I couldn't do a top layer for uh, finishing this video for you to see how they are ready ready but I managed to paint the edges gold so here they are I will not say all ready but nearly ready and yeah I just need to put on top layer but overall I'm really happy how they turned out uh, I think they're looking quite original and I will try make something similar in the future for sure. So if you found this video useful and entertaining, please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now I'm saying goodbye, until next time, keep creating. Bye.